And oh my goodness! Oh. Back on the inside, another one. This time they're done. And it's a try for England. Warrior Underwood. Five meters away, and offside against France. So if nothing comes of this, it'll be another penalty. Now the kick through, and a chance here. Ball loose, and they must score. Think he's got it down, Quato. Just touched the line, hasn't it? But I agree with you. First half try. Okay, here's the call. Steve, you may award the try. And there's another penalty coming. He's going to play on again, Savat. Now Yashvili swings it wide. Tara, even wider still. Back on the inside, another one. This time they're done. Oh, this is how dangerous France can be. They have one big performance in them every World Cup. And it's looking like tonight is the one they brought to 2011. And then they just hammered away for a little while. Great hands by Para. Poor defence here, though. A little chip over the top from Richard Hill. Heslop is up there. Can't be marked because Lafon had to jump the... They've driven him over. It looks like a try. It is a try. And Carling has got it. The captain comes up with the ball. He looks to heaven. He can't believe it. England now have gone seven points in the lead. They must surely have won this quarterfinal. And the referee was in excellent position there, and Carling must have wrestled the ball off Lafond and with the rest of his forwards right behind him, pushing him over. He comes and he must get his inside arm in there. Ripping he is, ripping with his left arm. He's got the ball now, and down he goes. Well refereed and well played, Will Carling. Only by blue for Queensland and Australian referee Andrew Cole. He did pull up, pull up short. The arm rolled it over. It'll be close. Brilliant break from the line out. He's lunged for it. Dropped short. Agonizingly close. There is downward pressure. But was his arm on it or was it an English one in Richard Hill? Are we saying he scored a try? Just confirm it is a try. Thanks, Holly. Says Benson. The Deer in Sponsor gets the first five pointer in the second semi final. With Ruma front against him. Good win for England. Carling wide there to Guscott. Lovely break by Guscott. And it's a try for England. In the corner, Rory Underwood. A great score for England. Superb run by Jeremy Guscott joining the line of pace and opening the French up like a can opener. And here we see this man Guscott again. What a player he is, what a tournament he's had. He's in two minds here because he can beat most people one on one. And then he realizes Serge's got him in his sights. Lovely vision there. And Rory does not miss those. Great try for England. <laughs> Definitely a free kick. Skinner there, ready, looking for the big tackle again. Lacroix picks up the big ball to Webb. And it bounces loose. There's room out there on the left now. Galtier. And a try for France in the corner. Jean-Baptiste Lafond. It had to come. The pressure had been too great. That is fifth try. His sixth try in this World Cup, which equals the record held by Craig Green and John Kerwin. They both scored six in the 87 tournament. Here it comes down on Gautier making pace on the outside and throwing a lovely pass, which gave Lafon the outside edge on his marker. Great pass. It had to come. It had to come from the pressure. And here's Gautier looking, running with the ball in two hands and throwing a lovely pass out in front. He didn't have the opportunity or the legs to take Lafon on the outside. 
Gamasol pops one over the top. That's for Damian Try to chase. And oh my goodness! Oh. That could be an opening dramatic try for England and Josh Lucy. It is a try, my goodness. England are already ahead, and there's not even two minutes on the clock. Well, a rueful shake of the head by Damien Try. He just overran it slightly and then tried to hit Josh Lucy, but no question about that, that's a try. Well, we're using that word momentum again because it was uh, Josh Lucy's momentum that carried him over the line. What a start by the world champions from four years ago. England now will have to score a try to beat France. Taken by Galti, this is Entomac. Entomac's a big strong man. Entomac, Entomac will score. Well, Entomac shown signs this evening that he's hungry to score a try and that occasion there he shows his speed and ability to come off his right foot. Steps inside two tackles, one of them by Rory Underwood. And in the end, well, that's the try that France were looking for. Just look at the speed of the man. The break made initially by Fabien Galthi. Slips out of one tackle, comes off the right foot a second time. And showing the kind of strength that we've come to expect from a lot of the wingers playing in this Rugby World Cup 1995. Good defence by France once more. Still about 18 metres away from the line. As England... Well, it's a rare assault as Wilkinson slings it wide for Flood. Hands it on to Foden. Opens up for Foden. And England are back in it. And just a bit of field position for England. Take them a while to get it in the second half. But finally, they get reward for the game they've been trying to play. And that's go wider than you would usually expect them to do. Uh, the French for the first time, very lazy. And Yashvili stands over it. England's defence looks well organised. Taken in by Nelle. Now Yashvili for Para. Nice interchange here. What's up there? He's got the pace. And he's away. And he's in. What a try. They went to the right, it's a wrap around. Mermos, Para went around, and Von Sancler had plenty of work to do. Well, that's a brilliant try. His 31st try and his 55th test. Well, I'll be looking at their defence here. Ben Young's missed the big tackle there. That's him sprawling. And uh, in the end, it was left, I think, to Croft. Von Sancler scores his sixth try of the tournament.